What's up guys, my name is Marcel, welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. Welcome to today's video which is all about matching your outfits to a haircut. As you may notice, my hair is not anything right now because this is fresh out the shower. I wanted to start off clean without any bias, but I'm gonna be walking you through four different products that I use to achieve four different hairstyles for my short to medium length non-wavy hair. I have pretty straight hair, so if you are watching and have different hair than me, I'm sorry, I only have this hair to work with. But I'm gonna be showing you these four products and hairstyles, and then for each of those styles, I have two complementing outfits that I think work with the haircuts. I'm gonna walk you through why I think that. I'm gonna walk you through the outfits and hopefully leave you guys with some inspiration. So let's get started with my general haircut, which is kind of like a, like a messy quiff. Let's take a look at the first two outfits. Getting started with outfit number one, and since this is my go-to hairstyle, I figured I'd start off with a go-to outfit. Right now, I'm absolutely loving anything quarter zip. This is from Everlane in a nice medium brown up top. One of my favorite coats right now from H&M, a nice car coat and a beautiful pattern. And on my legs, we've got Club Monaco raw jeans and dark brown suede Chelsea boots from my own brand on Kari Flores. So a really nice early fall outfit that is perfected by the look that it happens up here with my hair on my head. <laughs> I created this nice little messy quiff, as I like to call it, with my boy's brand, Alex Costa. You might know him. His brand is called Forte. And, um, Forte, huh? You use Forte for that? Oh yeah, wow, Forte, that bro. Looks so good. Oh, thanks, man. Like, Look at uh, that. Forte, yeah, it's, I mean, I, I think wow. I do well. That's you know? really good. Let you me see me. Uh, Ooh, sm smells good. Bro, the smell, I know, man. <laughs> Like the smell actually is like he gave it to me. I was like, ah, this is my boy. He sees me. We working yeah. out these days. In the morning, I'm just wearing hats. But apparently, I can actually still pull off like a. You can good man. Haircut. It looks really good. We yes. are working out every single day. You can see the gains through the jacket, which means a lot. <laughs> just <bulky. laughs> yeah. Your Hair looks good. Thank Thanks, you for bro. using Forte. Of course, bro. I have, a, I have one more. I have one more look for you though. Okay. You, right, you want to see it? Oh, and wait. then and then y'all can comment which look you like better for Alex product. Link to it down below. That sounds I don't have a curse in that. <laughs> now you're here and this is like we're talking and I'm not I know, using like, the video this anymore. The real Marcel you get. Yeah, unfiltered. I, <laughs> I do curse. Maybe a little bit too it's much. Alright, so do I. Yeah. Second outfit. <laughs> outfit number two for y'all and for you. Looking product, good, fam. Right? You remember this? You recognize this? this? Is, yeah, this is a, like a, an Alex Costa outfit almost. Oh, too, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. But where's this jacket from? That's, That's another home shows. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Jose's brand. <laughs> that's what's up. What's up, Jose? That's what's up. Yeah. A YouTube community <laughs> supporting Coming each other. Coming together. You just exactly. need someone Kari Flores. Down yeah, there. like my own, my own <laughs> brand. I don't even plug my own brand. Well, you got enough on Kari Flores coming in the rest of the outfit as well. But we got Doc Martens, H&M jeans, go. Essentials Bomber, and I think this is H&M too. So, let's find out. Oh, I was you're wrong. not going to believe this where this is from. This is oh. from my North <laughs> This is my Nordstrom <laughs> collection, boys. <laughs> BP and Alex Costa. No wow, joke. Wow, <laughs> I messed up. I'm literally, I think I'm uh, blushing a little bit. This <laughs> might be happening right now. Anyway, why, why I think this works is like a nice casual fit. And then this is, one once again, like, it's one of your type of outfits. I think something yeah. that's easy going. You can wear every day. You can wear it to dinner. You can wear it with friends. I love that. It looks great, man. Yeah. Well, you can style clothes, man, like no one else. This dude. It's a real deal. You heard it here first. This hey. a real deal. So now go on your channel and say that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got six more outfits coming for you guys, bro. I love you. Thanks Dude, for being here. Bro. Enjoy. And I'll see you guys in literally Subscribe. one second. Subscribe. <laughs> now that that fool's out the picture, let's get back to work with the second hairstyle, the comb over, which is very much a good boy type look um, and meet your girlfriend or your boyfriend. We're all inclusive here. Meet your girlfriend or boyfriend's parents type look. But it also is fairly masculine. It's a very clean look and it's really not, it's a safe look. You're not really gonna offend anybody with this. Which kind of sounds a little bad, but that's not the way I mean it. Anyway, the way I chose to style it in this case is uh, more refined. So I'm wearing an Everlane overshirt, a wool overshirt, underneath from Eton, a dress shirt. On my legs, a pair of Ascot chinos and a pair of espresso suede split toe boots from my own brand, Ankari Flores. So an elevated look, uh, a grown up look, um, a fairly masculine look, if you wanna put, you know, gender labels on this outfit. But I think it just works, it's easy, it's straight, straightforward. And I achieved this look with the head and shoulders styling pomade, which has a medium hold and a matte finish, and now just a comb. A combination of those two will get you this hairdo. So now let's move on to the other 
outfit that I think goes well with this hairstyle. For the first outfit I mentioned that it has a fairly grown up feel, but I think this look can also work in a more youthful way. Maybe a bit more nerdy and a bit more preppy like I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing a pair of slim fit jeans from Target's Goodfellow brand. I'm wearing a pair of Converse in Bordeaux. Picking that color up in this Everlane sweater up top underneath a H&M Oxford shirt. And to finish it all off, a dark raw denim Uniqlo jacket. Almost blanked on that. So uh, for one, I really like this look. I think it's nice and youthful and like playing. I love the double denim look. When I pull it off, just a side note, is uh, I go for darker up top and then lighter on the bottom. But I think this is a nice and youthful look and I think the hairstyle actually really complements that pretty well if you wore a pair of glasses, whether they're fake or blue light glasses or actual glasses. I won't judge, I know some of you might, but I, I like wearing glasses just for the look of it. I think this would really round the look out and take it to a whole nother level. So to summarize, I think you can go a bit more of a grown up vibe where it's, um, you know, put together and more refined or you can go a bit more youthful preppy nerdy but to reiterate this video is supposed to be general ideas of like what type of style of an outfit go with a haircut so this haircut refined youthful preppy nerdy that's hopefully what you take away from this oh god this is another one of those experimental videos i hope you guys enjoy this but i'm gonna um i'm gonna wash my hair get this done with and then we move into another two outfits moving on to hairstyle number three the messy look which I achieved with Goldwell's Creative Texture Ruffman number four. So that's what that is. I apply it to towel dry hair, kind of just rub it in, and then just kind of see where it takes me. It is supposed to be messy, it's supposed to not look perfect, but at the same time you want it to look as good as possible. So this is actually, um, I think it takes a lot of work to like kind of find where it is, and that's the type of people where you're like, oh, don't touch my hair because everything is just so perfect that, you know, you don't want it to be messed with even though it looks like it's messy in the first place. That's a lot of talking about the hair. Let's talk about the outfit. I'm wearing a coach varsity jacket underneath a sweatshirt from Everlane. These jeans are from Askit and yet another pair of Converse, this time in navy. Another very youthful look, very college vibey, and I think that kind of goes with that, like the more sporty look. Uh, still casual, put together, but sporty and also like a little bit more relaxed. So this is uh, kind of reflected in the outfit, which is why I think it goes together, duh. But I also think it goes with something a little bit more different, which still has like a bit of a sporty vibe. I'm just gonna show you. As I just switched outfit, I feel like it kind of proves my point of what I said about this being hard to maintain throughout the day put the hoodie on and everything was all over the place. This is already looking very different than it did just a second ago. But what I wanted to talk about is a streetwear, more fashion outfit. I think that look goes really well with that. I don't know, in my head I have like the, you know those models that have their hair like actually down? I can't do that, it doesn't look good on me. I don't know if my hair is too fine or what, but like into the face a little bit, but I wanted to kind of mimic that. And I'm also not the most fashion person, like I'm a style person, you guys know that. So what I'm wearing here is a pair of ASOS cargo joggers a pair of Dior's, which are arguably the most fashion piece I have in my wardrobe. And up top, a white long sleeve from H&M. And on top of that, a Hill City hoodie, just to create a little bit of a streetwear vibe, at the very least, if it's not proper fashion. But I think this goes really well with that too. You see how it's similar to the first one. It is still is kind of sporty, but just a little bit more refined and a little bit more designer. But I think this look goes well with that as well. But honestly, I actually really like this. I think it goes with a lot of different things, even though it might not perfectly match the vibe. It still kind of complements it in a, in a juxtapositional way. <laughs> like even though it doesn't perfectly fit, for example, with a suit, it kind of uh, brings a little edge to the outfit, to any outfit, so I do like rocking it that way. And now we're moving on to something that I very rarely wear, but I'm excited to style my hair like that. I haven't done that in a long time. <sighs> so I just said, I don't really wear this hairstyle. <laughs> I just spent 20 minutes in the bathroom trying to make this work. I guess my hair is still shorter than I thought it was, so this is more so for medium length hair where you have enough weight to actually slick your hair back because this is my attempt. And to be honest, I think I just straight out failed. Like, there's stuff flopping around, there's gel in here, there's some of Alex's product in here, but I, I couldn't do it proper. I don't know if I ran out of patience or I don't have enough knowledge, but imagine this is a nice slick back look. <laughs> I tried to achieve it with head and shoulders styling gel, so there's a lot of gel in my hair right now. And it still doesn't quite sit right. I think I just got my haircut. For those of you asking, I know there's gonna be a few. I got a skin fade up to, up to, you know, just a nice fade in. And uh, the top is, I, I don't know what length because I've just been growing it out. So, new haircut, failed attempt. But imagine I have a nice slick back hairstyle. I think it goes really well with an outfit like this. Really bad boy, kind of a throwback, like grease type of vibe. Black long sleeve, black leather jacket from Coach, black jeans from Walmart's free assembly collection and black combat boots from my own brand, Ankari Flores. So 
the outfit is on point. I know that much. Just keeping it all black. The hair. You just have to do a little bit, a little bit of imaginative work to, um, you know, see what this uh, could look like. Okay, I figured it out because this is the first time all of you guys are seeing me in a proper tuxedo on this channel. So I needed to figure out how to slick back the hair proper. I wish I would have done that before I recorded the last outfit, but here we are. All you gotta do is use a little bit of uh, water. Put it on the comb. I remember that. I remember that I used to do that and I forgot about it. But, you know, I'm learning here as much as you guys are. Anyway, you see the proper version of it, nice and slick back. Super elegant. Uh, obviously worked with a badass look, but also can be very, very elegant like with this tuxedo. This is from Brooks Brothers, so is the shirt. I have a little cummerbund, which is from Hugo Boss, and then simple capto black shoes from Ankari Flores. I don't really love patent leather shoes. I know this technically is supposed to go with patent leather shoes. I just don't like them. I think these look great with it. So on this very fancy note, let's end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, these are kind of like fun whenever I'm trying something new. Clearly I'm learning in the process but hopefully you guys are picking some stuff up as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a comment down below, leave a thumbs up, sub to the channel if you're not subbed already for any other experiments that might be heading your way very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with the next one. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye.